since World War II. The development of model vehicles and the military doctrine of armor vehicles led to the introduction of armor personnel carriers and infantry fighting vehicles. They are likened to the guardians of infantry on the battlefield. Until now, infantry fighting vehicles are an indispensable part of the equipment of the ground forces. For the British military, Warrior is an adaptable and reliable platform that has since proven successful in military actions during the 1991 Gulf War, throughout the Bosnia and Kosovo conflict, and most recently in the 2003 invasion of Iraq. Needless to say, the warrior has distinguished itself in many an action across mountainous, urban, and desert terrains, and has earned her stay in the ranks of the British Army. Currently, in addition to the UK Army, Warrior is also employed in the Kuwaiti Army. Its role is to provide fire support for infantry while providing armor protection. It was originally known as the MCV-80, developed in the 1980s to replace the FV-430 series armor vehicle. In total, more than 1,000 units were produced for the British and Kuwaiti militaries. Warrior weighs about 25.4 tons, length is 6.3 meters, width is 3.03 meters, and height is 2.8 meters. The crew of three includes commander, gunner, and driver plus 7 to 10 armed soldiers in the passenger compartment. Passengers enter and leave the vehicle via rear doors. Once they are inside, there are sufficient combat supplies carried to maintain them in action for at least 48 hours. There are no firing ports in the hull in order to improve armor protection. The warrior's design was rather conventional, with the driver on the front left in the hull, the commander and gunner taking off the traversing turret. The warrior hull is characterized by highly sloped glasses split, with the driver's position identified by his hatch, compared with vision blocks. An exhaust vent to the upper right front hull indicates the engine's position in the design. The turret is set in the middle of the hull roof, and the aft hull is square off, this area making up the tube compartment. The Warrior IFV has an all-welded aluminum armor hull and laminated steel armor turret. It provides own ground protection against 14.5mm armor piercing rounds. Front arc is likely to withstand 25mm armor piercing rounds. During military conflicts, vehicles are fitted with extra passive armor panels and cage armor for improved protection. Add on barely plate improve survivability against my blast and improvised explosive devices. Cache armor protects against RPG rockets and anti-tank guided missiles. But these are not normally carried during peacetime operations. This armor fighting vehicle is also fitted with NBC protection system. The base model, FV-510, armed with an unstabilized 30mm radon cannon and coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, 
in a two-man turret. The main gun fires armor-piercing and high-explosive fragmentation rounds. It is capable of single fire or automatic firing. Maximum rate of fire is 80 rounds per minute. This cannon has a dual fed system and the gunner can instantly swap types of ammunition. The Raiden cannon is regarded as a very accurate weapon. It can destroy enemy armor personnel carriers and other lightly armor vehicles at ranges up to 1,500 meters. It can also engage low-flying helicopters. However, due to the lack of stabilization, this can cannot fire accurately while the vehicle is on the move. Warrior is powered by Perskin V8 Condor diesel engine with 550 horsepower combined with a 4-speed Allison automatic transmission. The vehicle can reach a maximum speed on the road of 75 km per hour, a range of 660 km. The Kuwaiti warriors differed slightly from the British version in that they were modified for operations in desert environments as well as for Kuwaiti army requirements. As such, these were known as desert warriors and the livery of the tap began in 1994. Desert warriors were fitted with an American-based turret mounting a stabilized 25mm M242 Boostmaster chain gun as well as dual huge tow anti-tank missile launchers mounted to either turret sack. The British warrior is being upgraded to extend its lifespan. It will be equipped with new armor, a new turret, and a 40mm cannon. More than 600 will be upgraded to stay operational. The remaining warriors will be converted into armored recovery vehicles. My video about the warrior vehicle answer. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting. Please give it your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.